and it's 26 17. And Clunk has five, and it's a 10 point lead. That's a Tano. I tell you what, Brittany, uh, she has a nice shot, and that, that, that's an, a second nice jumper of the game. If she can, her and, and Blackburn can keep providing that for Trinity, they're going to get back in this game. Big rebound by Schran. Takes it out in the lane and dishes. Trinity picking up the pace of the defense, and a good play there in the turnover. And here come the Shamrocks. Anna Kuntz. That was a big series for Trinity right there. Well, yeah, Trinity's sticking with their game plan, knowing that York Catholic's been hot early on, and that's and, 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 and good basketball is going to catch up. But what what uh, Anna Kuntz did right there by going up and under is what every coach teaches a post to draw a foul. York Catholic with a seven-point lead midway through the second quarter. You're watching high school basketball live on ABC 27, presented by Arlington Orthopedics. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. And we're back, and Anna Kuntz hits the first of two free throws to cut the lead to six. And she's got seven, and the lead is down to five. Big sequence there for the Shamrocks. McFatridge. Back to Schran. She's number 10 for three. And the rebound to the Shamrocks. Here comes Trinity. Greg, what's impressing me is that Katie doesn't care. She's a gunslinger. She doesn't care if she misses. She's going to keep shooting. She has that kind of confidence. Magash got the offensive rebound. She's got six. The lead is down to three. So what, what, what Coach Christie should be encouraged about is Trinity's scoring all in the right way. These are the baskets from good offense. York Catholic scoring in ways that if they're not hot in the second half, Trinity's going to take them. So they, they need to balance their attack out. Coach Kevin Bankos, York Catholic, talking it over with her, his floor leader, Rachel Forjan. And Schran has not been uh, perfect of the line at all. She's got 16, cooled off just a little bit here in the second quarter. And she's got 17. And Trinity will take a timeout. 340 left, second quarter. Trinity cutting into the lead. Having been to Arlington Orthopedics uh, several times over the past roughly 15 years, I have found them to be very caring. For 15 or 20 years, I've dealt with sciatic nerve pain down both legs kind of figured I was going to have that all my life. Because of uh, crippling arthritis, I no longer could hold on to things. We went through this disc fusion sur surgery. It's just changed my whole life. The pain is virtually gone, and he fully expects me to return to 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney back here on ABC 27, the first of our uh, doubleheader action here. And uh, we pointed out Great crowd here at Trinity High School. We'll be back uh, after this game. Stay with us because we've got the boys game coming up.
And we'll also talk with uh, Dr. Michael Cornis at halftime from Arlington Orthopedics. Going to tell some Penn State stories, maybe. <laughs> but we also have uh, some great features throughout the year from Arlington Orthopedics. We're going to talk about concussions uh, at halftime in the boys' game, which, is, of course, has been a hot topic in sports right now. Right now, the uh, hot team are the Trinity Shamrocks, who have cut into this your Catholic league, Christy Britton. Let's former see. player here, yeah, yeah. now coaching. Yeah, and Katie stopped bringing the ball up uh, for your Catholic, and they might need to have her going back to bringing it up because she was doing a tremendous job of dissecting that defense. Josie McGash got the roll, got the rebound. She's got eight. The York Catholic lead is down to two. McFatridge and Trinity forcing the turnover, and they've got the momentum. Well, and they keep going inside. They're doing it the right way, and it's going to take the pressure off their shooters, and they're setting themselves up for a great second half. York Catholic is going to have to catch a little more balance, settle down, and be a little more patient. Now well, they got the ball right back off the inbounds turnover. Schran. Almost kind of forced that one. And good hustle, though, still by Trinity. That was a good play by Blackburn to get to, get to that basketball. But your Catholic gets it back. Plunk. McFatridge. The offensive rebound goes to your Catholic. Schrand suddenly found herself with a basketball underneath and will kick it back out. Almost went to the timeline. For Jan, to Clunk, kicked it back out, and it's going to go to Trinity. Well, and that pressure defense is paying off for Trinity. Good run by the Shamrocks. I'm just so glad both teams are manning it because it, when you have talent like this on the court and you see him sitting in the zone, there's a little bit of a disappointment that sets in for me. And they've been doing this all with Ashley Betts White on the bench with two fouls. They go low to McGash, and we're tied up. Yeah, once she gets it in that position, it's Josie's hard to stop. We approach two minutes. First half. Schran. And another big offensive defensive rebound for Trinity. Now, what's interesting, as soon as I talked about them not playing a zone, now they're in a zone, but I think that's a nice change up for where they're at, that's making your Catholic think. Blackburn missed the long three. Schran has the shot. Well, she is not getting the rolls. And Betts White is on the floor, and it is a jump or a foul. Referees confirm the call and a foul. Well, everything that seemed to fall for Katie Schran in the first quarter is not falling in the second. Well, this is a fast-paced game, and the legs are going to get tired on the shooters. That's why it's important. Uh, she'll definitely have more shots that will go in throughout the game, but it's definitely important to get, uh, get those sh shots around the basket to take the pressure off your jumpers. So Brianna Betts-White will go to the line. There's Kevin Bankos, and I think his expression kind of Tells it all for your Catholic at the moment. That is Brianna's first point, and Trinity has their first lead in quite a while. Yeah, and your Catholic has not been able to find an answer for the front line of Trinity. They've been consistent. Josie and Anna's worked very well together uh, to, to, to throw them off balance and get a lot of needed inside points. Well, big play by Trinity to get it back, and Kuntz lays it home. Yeah. What a great series there for the Shamrocks. Those girls have been playing together for three years, uh, starters over the last two, and you can see it. Schran missing. Three on one. Couldn't convert it. McFatridge, and that's a foul. Schran got the ball and got uh, forced out of bounds there, and she will go to the line. Minute left. Here in this first half. 